Hi, today we're going to be looking at this new can opener from the company Bangrui. You can see the logo right there. And it comes in three colors, red, green, and purple. Now this is supposed to be very safe, very easy, and very quick to open cans. So let's take a look at it here. Seems to be stuck in the box. There we go. And there you have it. It's very small, if you'll notice, which means it's not going to take up a lot of room in your cabinets. So that's really nice. And uh, I'm holding it. It's almost like giving someone a handshake. It's really comfortable. And it's not going to slip because it has this rubber grip going all the way around it. So it's very lightweight. It's small, easy to fit in drawers. It's comfortable. It's not going to slip. Uh, let's see how it works. OK, so now let's pop some batteries in. If you notice, flip it over to the bottom, pull this little tab here pops right off. It takes four AA batteries, which I have here in my pocket. Let's slip these in. And what's really convenient about these is when you're in a hassle trying to cook something in the kitchen, uh, maybe it's late, you just want to get the job done, the last thing you want to do is sit there and try and crank this can opener. So what I love about these is that it is so easy to just open a can and walk away while you're doing something. Well, we know it works. Turns on and off with this little button here on the top. I don't think it's quite fastened closed. There we go. And I have a can of diced tomatoes here. This is what we're going to try it on. And if you notice, what's really cool about this is there's a magnet on the bottom. So you can really just set it on top, press the button, and it goes. Simple as that, hands free. You could be walking away, washing dishes, cooking something. And the really cool thing is, it stops when the can is open. And the final cool part about this, while you can use the magnet to set it on top of whatever can you're trying to open, you can also use the same magnet to take the lid off. Another thing I really like about this Bangaroo product is the packaging is really nice. Uh, it's no hassle to open, it's really simple, but it's also a high quality box here. So this would be great for gifts, uh, maybe family members who like to cook, friends, parents, grandparents. It's a very neat little package, bright colors, and uh, it's self-explanatory. It gives all the best details about the can opener right there on the front, and the instructions can be seen with visuals on the side and on the back. It's very, uh, it's a really cute little package. It even has a little window.
Hello there, I'd like to introduce you to the AnySharp Suction Base Knife Sharpener. You stick it down onto your work surface like that, it doesn't move and you don't have to hold it. All you need to do is take your knife, any steel bladed knife. Just make sure that it's clean and dry, start at the heel, end up at the tip. Hold it upright and slide it back towards yourself. Pull it through there like that about half a dozen times, give it a clean and give it a try. If it's not as sharp as you want, do it all over again. This little knife costs less than two pounds. You don't need an expensive knife if all you require is an absolutely razor sharp one. Any type of knife, blade, edge or steel, this knife is a professional sabatier. It costs considerably more. You sharpen it up in exactly the same fashion, but the fundamental difference is that this knife, once it is sharp, will stay sharp for an awful lot longer than the inexpensive little knife. Now, both of these knives have got your regular, ordinary stainless steel blades. This one isn't. This is a serrated bread knife. Now the manufacturers of these will tell you that you can't sharpen them and the reason they tell you that is basically so you go and buy another one. Just put it in there, take the pressure off. If I press down hard it will lock up between those teeth and it won't budge. Take the pressure off and glide it through there like that nice and gently. Give it a clean, that will make that one of the sharpest knives you've ever picked up. Now all the knives I've shown you so far are made from stainless steel. Some knives, however, are made from carbon steel. This is a hunting knife, it's made from carbon steel, you can always tell because it discolours on the blade. It's a lot, lot harder than stainless steel, you simply pull it through there like that, perhaps for a second longer, give it a little clean, and the beauty of this is that once it's sharp, it will stay sharp for an awful lot longer than a regular stainless blade. The other type of carbon steel you get is drop forge carbon steel. This is incredibly hard. This is a pointing trowel made from drop forge carbon steel and the regular job is to crack through bricks and rake out cement joints. I put a cutting edge on this from scratch and it took me 10 minutes. I did it just to show you that no matter how blunt your existing knife is, no matter what steel it's made from, if you can do this to a trowel in 10 minutes, the bluntest kitchen knife you have will be razor sharp in just one or two minutes. Now it doesn't matter how big the knife is that you wish to sharpen. The rule is if you can get it in there, you're going to sharpen it. You simply pull it through. This is probably the largest knife you'll ever see. You simply sharpen it by pulling it through there, nice and gently, right to the very, very tip. Give it a little clean, and away you go. As I said, it doesn't matter how big the knife is. The rules of the game are if you can get it in there, you will sharpen it. You simply pull it through there, nice and gently. You give it a little clean. And this is why we call it the world's best knife sharpener. I've been a butcher for over 46 years. These are the best. They're quick, clean and safe, and they work every single time.